With the wild update reveal recently and Minecon Live 2021, there's a ton of new content coming next year to the game. If you want to see all of the features coming in the next major update, check out my last video linked below on 1.19 and all of the confirmed features which are going to drop in that update in 2022. However, in this video, I'll be covering all of the unconfirmed, rumoured and potential features that might be coming to the update. I have separated this into a different video as not all of these have been verified and some are pure speculation. So let's jump into a lot of the cool reveals which we may see coming in the next update. The first feature are lotus flowers that are seen in the swamp concept are upon the lily pads with rhizomes underneath the lily pads which are not actually in game. These are perhaps an artistic expression and may not be coming in the game though. The same can be said for the cattail plants which are popularly known to be in swamps that are also seen in the concept art too. As for new changes coming in already existing biomes including the birch forest it does seem in this biome concept that there's some shelf fungi seen on the walls of the tree logs which perhaps odes to the potential inclusion of them in the update. I'm not sure how this fungi would look like in game if it was added onto the logs but this is a pretty cool feature which we can't miss when taking a look at the art. On the tall birch forest art there's also a tall stem with white pappus on the end of it. Pappus is basically a wind dispersal mechanism for both plants and flowers and this plant is rumoured to see an inclusion. Now as with concept art it doesn't really stop there. Birch forests also have a small violet flower set seen in block wide areas of the concept art. This is seen in pink, white, purple and light blue shades. Clues to potential inclusion points to a potentially discreet set of hints in the introductory live mob vote video as the Minecon employee cartoon characters walk into a flower biome and we can see this clue. Also another type of block which are moss covered birch logs is seen in the concept art too in which Alex is stepping on them. This is cool because we already have mossy cobblestone so moss covered birch logs would be a nice addition and it would make trees a little less boring. There's also hollowed out birch logs which are seen in the tall birch forest too. A few different types of logs for trees would make them a little less predictable and it'd make up the tree in a few new different block types instead of having just one base wood block for the bark which would be a pretty cool addition. Generated in deep dark biomes with a different top texture to the skulk block and catalyst with an unknown name state, the skulk jaw block is a rumoured block that may not make it into the final game. Announced at Minecraft Live 2020, said to be brought to 1.17, the bundle item was pushed back to 1.18 initially and then further postponed, meaning this could also hint to a 1.19 release. Added into the Bedrock 1.16 beta, but not making the 1.17 release build, it was stated the goat horns won't come to 1.18 which is another feature which speculation says could be in 1.19 because of this pushback. In the birch forest art which is something which we do keep touching on there's also fallen trees that are already existing in the bedrock release of the game. Does this mean that we'll see them across the board? They already showed us that bedrock and java editions have more consistency now across their world generation and their seeds so it only makes sense to see some more consistency in other areas too. There's also birch tree branches which are seen in the concept art which are tall birch trees with singular birch logs acting as a branch that holds a beehive block but this could be an artistic expression also. Originally made known at Minecon Live 2020 the archaeology feature was going to be brought in 1.17 when the caves and cliffs update was split although it did get pushed back across two different releases meaning it could finally be coming in 1.19 although we haven't seen any announcements so this would be a huge major surprise if they did introduce it. Now most of these rumours are based upon concept art or video features which are spotted by fans and sourced from the Minecraft wiki and its information, but many are already announced features that have been postponed and could come in the update. If you want the consistently fact checked and confirmed features which are definitely coming in 1.19, check out my 1.19 video listing all of the confirmed features which is linked down below to see the rest of the content which we know is definitely coming next update. It also gives a sneak peek of the deep dark dimension below the already low block levels showing the wardens and the structures such as the deep dark cities which you can find down below. This video also talks about the new mobs like the tadpoles, frogs, fireflies and more like the mangrove swamp biome which is coming too so if you want to learn more about that do check out that video. YouTube says 97% of you are not subscribed so if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications and slap the like button for more Minecraft mod videos like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.